just to let y'all know these memphis streets ain't slowed down yet do y'all know that since young Dolph has been killed there's been over 16 reported shootings that's all connected to Dolph and at least six, seven deaths already, bruh. After, not even the ones, I just did a story about the white bins being connected to several other murders and, and, and killings that happened like four or five days before Young Dolph even got killed. Do you guys even know that? There were murders connected to the white bins being found before Dolph was even killed, but in this case, the streets of Memphis ain't slowed down at all, y'all. There's been another person who got killed in an apartment shooting. Suspects are on the run. Now, police is tying this to the Young Dolph situation in aftermath. I'm about to get into it. We about to look at it. I need y'all to hit that like button, that notification. I told y'all I got, I got y'all updates. What I told y'all, I took a little break for three to four days because I don't report anything, but we got them updates, y'all. Hit that like button, notification bell. Let's rock out and pay these bills, gang. Now, as you can look here, bro, there's been another shooting in Memphis. I'm telling y'all, bro, there's a, there's a second grandmother who actually got killed. We're gonna talk about that one too. And, and, and it's an indictment with a woman in um, second degree murder charge, but they like, man, I'll get into that one later. It's a lot of crazy situations with that one as well. And the woman is gonna get indicted, but they're trying to connect it to the doll form before we break that one down. Because there's other, also two women that were charged after shooting, you know, the woman in the face. It's it's a lot going on with that, bro. Memphis is 38 hot right now. We got the one with, you know, JoJo Splat is spazzing. Now, you feel me? It, it, it's too much things going on right now. I'll go to JoJo Splat spazzing now. But I want to go to this apartment killing, y'all. Unfortunate apartment killing. Let me let... W-R-E-G, break that down for us. Memphis police need your help identifying suspects involved in a homicide at a southeast Memphis apartment complex. W-R-E-G's Quimitra Wilborn spoke to residents who say they're not surprised by the violence. Armed guards stand at the front entrance of the park at Newcastle Apartments, checking every person who tries to enter. Residents say the security presence comes after a man was shot and killed inside the apartment complex. It's not really like it's a lot of violence, but it's definitely a lot of thievery. Memphis police say on November 23rd, a man who police identified as Justin Flores was shot multiple times while being robbed on Brook Tree Circle. He later died from his injuries. All I saw was the police cars going further into the um, apartment. MPD released these images of the people they believe are responsible for the brutal attack. This woman didn't... Hang on, we gotta look at those images. Does the images remind y'all of anything? I ain't gonna say it. I'ma let y'all guess and speculate. Does those images remind you of everything? Them folks is stepping out there, bro. This was not just no regular robbery. And how I even knew about this news is all these real young dog fans who hit me up and was like, bless one. This is a murder I'ma show you. The news is talking about it later, but this murder happened on the 23rd. The news was late about it. And you're gonna see it on the news November 30th because those days apart, because they found out just like the folks in the street, it was connected to the young dog situation. There's a lot of he say, she say, and a lot of people going night, night to sleep because of the he say, she say. But this one, when you got three steppers or two steppers, what you see, two steppers again. What is this tag team? It's always two steppers with each other. I don't know, maybe the more steppers you get, the more you get in trouble, but it was two of them dudes allegedly. Well, y'all see the cameras and them dudes went brazy on folks, you know, they went in an apartment and they popped in multiple times. This wasn't just a robbery, y'all. And that's what dude was letting me know, like, bro, this is deep. The news keeps saying it the wrong way, but it's 100% connected to dog. Like, them folks be solving crimes for real, dog. And they, like, pay attention to this whole news. I'm going to push play again, y'all. I'm going to pay attention. These images of the people they believe are responsible for the brutal attack. This woman didn't want to be on camera, but says she's not surprised by the violence. She says it's not the first time someone was robbed in the area. Whoever's robbing the people over here are watching our schedule, our routines. 
and they wait until absolutely no one's around. This woman says she be I told y'all this is damn near like some conspiracy stuff, bro. Like, I'm not saying there ain't no street niggas doing it because clearly street niggas allegedly are involved, but who's allowing these street niggas to be involved? Who got the weapons? Who's because a lot of these procedures, like the lady told you, they're watching us, they're seeing our schedule. Like, these are some trained type of dudes. We seen the other video I uploaded on the other killing that just happened in Memphis. You seen the way they did it. Just like the other two ladies in Covington that and they killed one of them, they boxed them in. Followed them boxed them in with the same white bins that was found you hear me the same white bins that was found in orange blue, blue like orange mon and all that was the same bins that was in Colberton, tennessee with the shooting with the high caliber weapon 762s and all that and and, and and these almost the same one in this robbery here it was high caliber weapons as well that was used someone was robbed in the area whoever's robbing the people over here are watching our schedule our routine and they wait until absolutely no one's around. This woman says she believes this murder is just another example of the ongoing crime problem across the city. She says she's just making sure she's doing what she has to do in order to keep her family safe. You can't have good security in a gated community when the people who live over here or the people that visit us break our gate all the time. Reporting from Southeast Memphis, Kwame Trewilborn, WREG News Channel 3. And we do want to let you know we reach out to Blue Magma Residential, the management company over the apartment complex, to see what security measures they have in place to keep residents safe. But we, have I mean, this is just too much, bro. These cops be connected to suspects, and y'all need to know that, bro. I got another video to show y'all proof how these police officers be connected to the folks they claim they stopping and defending because it's a lot of police movement. This feel like. 18-year-old O'Shea Sims went from honor student and band member to murder suspect, later set free. Once I explained to the prosecutor, I sat down with her and um, we went over everything. She too was uh, quite shocked that, that this is what the evidence looked like. And so um, that's how he ended up uh, getting out of jail without having to make a bond. A rare decision on such a serious charge, says attorney Camila Turner, Sims' second attorney. She took the case for free after an outcry from Sims' teachers and others. But Sims had confessed to killing 26-year-old Antaeus Colbert on June 2nd, 2018, near an AutoZone parking lot close to Airways and Lamar. You have to have corroborating evidence or other evidence other than a statement to convict somebody. Police connected the victim and suspect through cell phone records, but witnesses in Sims own confession said someone else used his phone. There was no murder weapon and police obtained surveillance video from the wrong day. Court records show another person at the scene never identified Sims as the shooter and friends put him elsewhere. And so he just started making things up and that's what the confession looked like to me. It looked like somebody who was making things up and trying to fit into whatever they wanted him to say. Memphis police interrogated Sims for roughly eight hours, part of that time without his mother present, and it wasn't recorded. Documents show the officer advised Sims of his rights multiple times. Turner believes the confession was false and forced. I knew the officers that were involved in the case. I saw the names, and I, quite frankly, I knew that some of them had reputations for um, doing things that are not always above board. The News Channel 3 investigators requested the officer's personnel files. That's when we noticed names of officers who'd recently been in trouble. And we see both Sergeant Green and her partner, Eric Kelly, on his paperwork. Sergeant Sheila Green was the lead homicide detective on Sims case. Her partner, Lieutenant Eric Kelly, assisted in the investigation. If those names sound familiar, it's because WREG has mentioned them recently. Does that raise any questions for you? Absolutely. Kelly is on a list of more than a dozen law enforcement officers being investigated by the DA's office for misconduct. He and Green traveled to Montgomery, Alabama to interview a murder suspect, but riding shotgun on the taxpayer funded trip was another murder suspect in an unrelated case, Bridget Stafford. Racy text revealed Kelly had a sexual relationship with Stafford. He gave her money and bought her weed. Stafford told police she had marijuana Kelly purchased in the car during the trip and smoked with Green's wife before leaving. 
Kelly retired amidst an investigation. Green was suspended for two days. I actually was not aware of that. We dug deeper into Green's file and found dozens of other violations, including two for excessive force. One where she reportedly beat up a man after having to chase him, was appealed through civil service and dropped. The other involved an arrest where Green pepper sprayed a woman, then allegedly hit her during transport. One where Green's statements and jail. Man, I provided y'all with enough proof that this young golf thing makes me speculate that he getting beef with any cops in the city or because these cops in the city connected with the real steppers. You dig what I'm saying? Cops in the city are connected. Cops in the city are your regular folks. A lot of these cops in the city, bro, like they ain't nothing to be trusted like anywhere else. And a lot of them are black cops. You think what I'm saying? A lot of them are black officers, bro. So it's a lot of crazy situation in this. The indictments, everything to, to catch up with this is just a little too crazy right now. And we need to fall back from some of this and understand, bro, it's going to be maintained in a righteous way. Look, I'm your guy, DJ Bless One. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live.